Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog review. This time, like I said last time, we're going to be looking at Kamen Rider Fi's Paradise Lost, the Fi's movie. And I'm going to start off by saying, way better than Godspeed Love. <laughs> um, oh god, yeah. The reason I might compare them a little bit is because they're, what if, they're both what if stories, though Godspeed Love sort of fucked all that, so... I was so confused at Godspeed Love. <sighs> Don't even get me started I, on Godspeed Love. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, I, it's it's I probably just... the worst Kamen Rider movie I've ever seen. So Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fies though, of the Fies Paradise Lost, thankfully, is not nearly is actually way better. Um it's a what if story if all of a sudden um the Orphan X won. Um and uh, everybody had to go, and humans had to go into hiding. 90% of the Earth's population is Orphanix now. So, um... For all intents and purposes, the Orphanix own this planet. Pretty much. It's now. It's no longer the human's planet, it's the Orphanix planet. And humans have to live in settlements. Um, because if they don't, they'll be killed. Because Orphanix believe that humans should not exist. Which, the whole coexistence thing just baffles me. I wish they I wish like they'd be diplomatic about it, but I guess they're monsters, so they can't be diplomatic about it. But um, well, it sucks cuz they have real it's shown they have higher intelligence, but they're they're, evolved, they're, they're basically so orf, orphanics are basically evolved humans. So they're so like compassion is not something that gets evolved with them. I don't know. Um, it's not. Anyways, uh, so yeah, orphanics are the majority species on the planet now. Um, and there's less than 10% of humans. Um, and essentially now, the, uh, essentially now they're at hiding and they're trying to, there's a small resistance headed by, you know, some of our favorite characters from the show, Mari, Keitaro, Kusaka, um, who are trying to get the belts, like the two new belts from this movie from, uh, Smart brain, because they've developed new belts that are even more powerful. By the way, the villain from Smart Brain from the show is now a head in a jar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, years have passed since the Orphanix won. So. Right. Right. So okay. So it's been it's been quite a few years since the Orphanix won. Yeah. And the only Orphanix who care about humans now are the ones from the show that. Uh, that were the same way in the show for most for most of it. So, so Kiba, Kaido, and Yuka are the only ones who who can who want coexistence. So, um, essentially, uh, the humans are trying to get the belts because they feel like that's the only weapon they have t to fight off against the Orphanix. Because all the belts were made to fight off Orphanix. Even, uh, that's why some art brain developed them, so I guess they could stay in power, I don't know. Um, so anyways, uh, so it comes down to, uh, they don't know what to do. They don't know where, uh, Takumi is. Takumi, when the battle broke out, Takumi got taken away, um, and no one's seen him for a long time. Um, the only rider they have... Because this was before Delta came into the pro, uh, picture. Um, the only writer they have is Kaiza, so Kusaka, who is being a giant douche, of course, even in this time of, like, need. Um, but thankfully, <laughs> very early in the series, we don't get to see, hear from him again. So I'll just leave it at that. And uh, somebody who's more deserving of becoming Kaiza gets to become Kaiza. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Once, I mean. I'm not going to spoil that either. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that was, I'll say that. I, I was disappointed. <laughs> I was disappointed by, the, by that part. So by the time Kusaka is out of the picture, they're pretty much defenseless against the uh, Orphanix who have raided them. Um, so, and, uh, so eventually Takumi comes back, but he doesn't know who he is. So he's lost sure. his memory. Uh, I guess amnesia happens all the time. And then, yeah. Eventually he gets it back because of Mari, because... Well, those two just fuck already. 
Sorry. <laughs> the entire series, I'm like, it's obvious you two want to fuck. <laughs> God damn. Yep. Um, anyways, so Takumi finally comes back, and he's the only writer against everybody. And they have writer troopers now, which ended up showing up in the series, which we didn't talk about in that blog review. But basically, they're just mass-produced Fives drivers that have that have the basic functions, so they can mass-produce them. Uh-huh. So they're being raided by rider troopers or Rio troopers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and, uh, and, uh, Fi's the only one who can keep them back. So, okay, so that's that. And so, um, the head of Smart Brain calls, uh, Kiba to meet with him. And he displays the, and he gets his, uh, New rider to display the Saiga driver. Saiga, right? Yep. Yeah. The Saiga <clears throat> I driver. have that belt. Uh, English. Yeah, and oh yeah, and the guy who plays him is a um, Taiwanese. Actor. He's a Taiwanese actor who can speak English. Um, so he, I found it. I found it great. <laughs> so he speaks English throughout most of the movie. Um, uh. I think my favorite part is the line when he transforms. He's like, well, taking care of you guys is also part of my job. And then he says... And then he says, again. Then he says henshin instead of henshin. Which mm. I'm like, ha, which just makes me go, ha ha, stupid English people can't say henshin. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking Japan. Anyways, um, so throughout most of the movie, he's speaking English, so he needs no subtitles. Um... And uh, he has a jetpack, which is really cool until Fias cuts cuts it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and the Saga form looks really cool. It's white and whatnot. Not my favorite design, but it looks really cool. Um, so, anyways, um, they meet with them and they see the Saga power, and they go back and they're like, and they let the humans know they got they're packing some heat, pretty much. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, so eventually what happens is a big misunderstanding happens, and, uh, Kiba gets seen as a murderer, um, and then eventually, um, Mari gets seen as a betrayer, even though it's not her, um, and that changes Kiba's whole outlook on anything, and then he becomes Kamen Rider Orga. <laughs> and near the end of the movie, awesome. near the end of the movie, so, uh, Takumi, I almost said Tsukasa. <laughs> Takumi has to go um, to the the stadium that's in every Kamen Rider movie and fight a giant orphanic and Orga, and the rest is left up to the movie's plot. And I'm not gonna spoil it. Way better movie <laughs> than Godspeed Love. Um, for one. This doesn't fuck the continuity of the main series like uh, Godspeed okay. Love did. Because oh, yeah. it, it's an alternate tale. Normally, I'm not a big fan of that. I like to have continuity. But in this respect, it's okay because it doesn't screw up the continuity of the show. So, um, And I like seeing the what if story. What if the Orphanix won really early on in the show, um, which is really cool. Um, I like the new rider, the movie exclusive riders. They're cool. Um, Orga also has this like um, general or emperor feel to it, which I thought was really cool. Um, and uh, overall, it's a good movie. If you like the series, you should check out the movie. Um, your thoughts? Because you haven't said much. <laughs> oh yeah, this is your this is your thing. I didn't want to interrupt. No, go ahead. <coughs> um. I mean, I can't really say much because a lot of the stuff I want to talk about would be spoiling it, so. <laughs> but, again, th- this is probably one of my favorite movies. I mean, I keep. We have to keep comparing it to Godspeed Love because this is it's, literally. It's, it's a so step, similar to Godspeed it's a, Love. It's a step forward in. Um, Kabuto is a step forward, but it's a step back in terms of. Do we give a shit about characters? <clears throat> and I feel like th- this show did not fuck the characters. This mm-hmm. was basically well. I mean, I guess I, w- I would be retelling 
what you just said. <laughs> but I, I really don't know what to say. It's it's fantastic. It's great. I I felt for some of the characters, especially that guy who got become got to become a common writer for the first and last time. <laughs> Uh, I was so disappointed. Oopsie Daisy. <laughs> um, yeah. Again, like I'm trying. To, I don't like to spoil things in these because I like people to experience them for themselves. I, I I'm just pretty much gonna say what I said before. If you like Fies, you'll like this movie. Um, especially if you're getting really invested in the story of Fies and you want to see the what if because this is a really good what if. Again, if you, if your choice between on what if stories is this. Or Godspeed Love, watch this. <laughs> watch Paradise yeah. Lost instead, because Godspeed Love is not worth it. It's it'll just make you upset. <laughs> it made me angry. <laughs> also, the CG in Paradise Lost not completely terrible like it was in Godspeed Love, considering Godspeed Love came out years later. <laughs> like, oh god. As I said before. Common Rider may have, Kabuto may have been a step forward in the series, but it was a step backwards in the giving movies. shit. <sighs> so, anyways, that's our thoughts on Common Rider Five's Paradise Lost. Next time, hopefully, next time I'll get to talking about Common Rider Blade Solo, um, because I don't think Nightshade's finished that series. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and thanks Nightshade for joining me for these reviews. No problem. I appreciate it. So, uh, yeah. Catch you later. Later, guys.